Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Peter and on my channel, I talk about wireless audio file products, sometimes touching a little bit on video products, sometimes talking about any form of electronics. And this is my channel. Let's take a look at this, all right? Uh, well, yep, there you go. There you go, it's coming up. My channel is gonna be coming up. And after it corrects the images and boom. Okay, that's my channel. Well, this is actually coming out from a projector. Now, this projector right here is, oh, actually, this is the Sonos Play One, right? Not the projector. This is not the projector. Let me show you the projector. And this is the projector. Now, you can see why I got a little confused because it actually looks pretty similar. Look at the design language. The grill actually looks almost the same. The size is about the same. And the Sonos One, or rather the Sonos Play one fits into my hands pretty well and this projector also fits into my hand. Now you notice that the image is still being cast, right? You can see the image there and that's because this projector has a built-in battery. This is a full HD 1080p resolution projector and it casts an image up to 200 inches across. Well, you probably need a very dim room and you need to connect it to the power source to reach that kind of brightness to enable you to cast a screen that is an image that is that big. But let me talk a little bit more about the projector here today and why I am so in love with this guy. This is from XGMI. X-G-I-M-I, -I, right? And they've been making projectors for the last few years. I remember I had one of their projectors which I mounted in my bedroom to project onto an 80-inch fixed screen and I was enjoying a big screen entertainment for quite a long time. And uh, I've seen gotten rid of that projector, but today I have the Halo Plus. This is a portable projector. Look at how small this guy is. And that is all. It is running on battery power. So if you want to take this outdoors, no problem at all. Now, if you put the projector right down, it will auto calibrate itself. There's auto focus, so there's no focus lever for you to play around with, and it will auto correct for keystone as well. It will also avoid um, obstacles like there's a switch there, or if you have a painting or a plant that is in the way, it will actually recalibrate itself. Now, when, once it's done calibrating, you just exit and you've got a perfectly square image. Now, you can even put it off to the side. Let's try this, right? And uh, you see, this is very, very slanted image, but after correction, it will actually... Yep, there you go. So even if the projector is really off to the side, like even 30 degrees off to the side, it's still projecting a very square image on the screen. So very versatile, no focus to play around with. You don't have to rely on your eyes. If your eyesight is not that good, it will autofocus on itself. Now, every time you move the projector, it will refocus and it will adjust for the keystone correction. Very, very easy. Now, like I mentioned, this is a full HD projector, 1080p. I mean, of course, it's not a 4K projector, but at this price point, I think right about uh, less than a thousand, nine hundred uh, US dollars or so, you're getting a portable projector, a built-in battery, which is 900 NC lumens. Now, I don't know how to measure the NC lumens, but basically I'm in my studio environment. There's studio lighting and the image is being cast on a black wall. Now, a black wall improves contrast but reduces brightness. And you see, you still get a reasonably good image. Now, I'm gonna just show you how bright the image gets and I'll record it on another camera, which I have off screen. Now, this is the pretty white camera, and I'll tell you what I have. If you notice that, there, there's a Sonos ERA 100. I have it paired up here. Uh, both are on flexion stands, which I have not reviewed, but I've been using them. Now, the ERA 100s are paired in stereo, and they are Bluetooth connected to the projector. Oh, not this projector. What's my projector? Ah, it's right in the corner here. It is Bluetooth connected to the projector. So the sound, although it can come from the built-in Harman Kardon 2x5 watt drivers, it can actually broadcast the sound via Bluetooth to the ERA 100 connected via Bluetooth. Or you could connect your headphones or any external uh, analog devices or speakers that will take line level input and that is through the 3.5 mm headphone output jack. Now there's a HDMI port. The HDMI port can accept HDMI input or you can actually get a uh, eARC compatible soundbar or ARC compatible soundbar, which will then connect as an audio output from this projector. Now, let's have a listen to how this sounds like. 
Okay, so I'm going to be um, recording. Let's put it down. Let's put it down. Let the auto correction take place. Okay, so the image is not optimized for size. I just want to let you know and let you see how clear this whole projection is going to look. And uh, maybe let's try this. So quite a lot of you have bought into the Sony's era 300 since. Okay, there you go. All right, it is actually yes, coming from the era 100 the as the sound output. Which Connected via Bluetooth, there is no lip sync issue as you can tell. Maybe my videos are not great because they are actually a little bit dim. Um, let's try news. If we try news, we might be able to see something that is bright enough and you can see the how bright this projector can go to. Yep, that's news. Okay, so you will see that the image is actually pretty bright. Now, when I say it's pretty bright, it is actually still on battery power let mm. let's keep it quiet in case you can't hear me right the moment you plug in power right there is a power brick that's supplied it's like one of those laptop power brick okay and it ends in a dc jack you plug it in okay you'll see right and you see the brightness will actually increase and that's how it goes, right? So on battery power, it actually does cut down a little bit on the brightness, but when you plug it into DC, and it will power up and the screen will become brighter from there. Now the battery on its own will last about two and a half hours, so good for most movies, most movies, unless you're looking at uh, those long marathon movies like uh, Lord of the Rings Extended Edition, where it goes up to three hours, Otherwise, it should last the whole movie. But otherwise, check out the video, check out how bright it can get. Yep, Singapore is electing a new president. No, that's not why I've been busy. Now, in terms of software, this XGME Halo Plus projector runs Android TV, right? Android TV is pretty versatile. It's been around for quite a while. They have actually fine-tuned it very, very well. So I could show you how this looks like uh, in the projector. So this is YouTube client. Now, anything that will go on the uh, Play Store, Google Play Store will and can be loaded into the system. Now, when you go into the Play Store, you can search for your favorite app and it should go on. Okay, there's TED TV, there's Disney Plus, there's uh, Red Buddha. Wow, I wouldn't go through all this, but basically what I put on is I've put on, um, this is Prime Video, I have YouTube on, I have, uh, uh, well, I don't use this much, TED was already loaded, and then there's Netflix. Uh, but more importantly, I want to show you the system menu, right? This is the input. You can actually select HDMI input, uh, if you are not using the built-in Android TV. And on top of that, you can go into settings. And once you go inside settings, a lot of things open up to you. You can change the projector settings. You can change the brightness, how you correct keystone. You can change the focus settings, how you place the projector. You can actually place the projector upside down and it will correct the image depending on how you mount it. And the projector actually has a a screw thread below so you can actually mount it on a tripod so you can move it around and position it as and when you like there's also a kickstand at the bottom right so if you put it on the tabletop you can actually angle it slightly upwards to project a higher image so that it's easier and uh, on your eyes to view or rather on the neck so you don't have to crank your neck to actually view the picture now, the other part that I want to talk about is actually the Bluetooth connectivity. If you go to the remotes and accessories, you can actually add accessories. So if you see on the screen here, I have the ERA 100, which is the Sonos uh, speakers, actually connected via Bluetooth. So to connect the ERA 100, all you need to do is press and hold the rear button, the Bluetooth button on the ERA 100. It will set itself up to be discoverable and from this menu when you add accessory you will see era 100 pop up now any of the left or the right speaker if you have it paired up in stereo it will work and when you transmit the sound it will actually come out in stereo so this setup i have right here it can almost be said to be truly wireless of course if you want to bring it outdoors the era 100 won't be able to be powered because they don't have a built-in battery so if you really want that kind of sound you probably need the sonos roam or the sonos move which has a built-in battery and bluetooth so that you can have a truly portable outdoor movie experience but that's it that's a uh, kind of a few too many things to move around right so 
when you don't want to do that, you can actually depend on the Harman Kardon built in two times five watt speakers. Now the speakers go really loud, right? So you only, I think when I was at 50% volume, it was so loud, it was room filling. Uh, I'm not saying that the bass is great, but it is tuned to deliver loudness, right? So you can hear words, you can hear dialogue very well. The bass is not going to be mind blowing. It's not going to fill the whole room and come you in the chest with bass but you will be able to hear everything from the movie clearly, even if it is a large outdoor party. Now, I actually haven't tried it in large open spaces where there are no walls to bounce the sound off, but uh, within the room, it is actually pretty good. Let me just show you. Okay, so I'm going to be disconnecting the ERA 100. Okay, disconnect. Mm -hmm. So I probably tried something from my channel. Oh, then again, how about news, right? <laughs> news should be okay. Nobody's gonna strike me for that, I think. Okay, so this is at a very low volume. I'm going to be pushing the volume up. Qualifies to run for the highest office. This is about 50% volume. Governor Lee Sien Lung issued the writ of election today, with the nomination day set on 22nd of August. If there is only one eligible candidate, the person will be. And that is at 50% volume. You heard how loud that goes. Now I'm not going to be uh, using this for any form of stereo or critical listening, not for music because the speakers are all packed to the sides of the projector itself on either side of the projector. So when you're facing there, I don't know whether this is the left or this is the right or if it's behind me, is that the right or is this the left? I don't know, this gets confusing. So anyway, pairing with the ERA 100, no such problem. See, every time I put down the projector, every time I move it and I put it down, it corrects itself. It's just so well executed. So I mean, I don't know how much more you can talk about projector besides the video image, but the video image is a 1080p image. It's not going to be mind-blowingly sharp. It's not 4K, it's not 8K, but it should be good enough for casual watching or video or movie viewing uh, in the open or when you're outdoors. Uh, assuming you can find a flat surface. Now, I've been waving this thing in my hands. This is a remote. Now, this is a Bluetooth remote, but it looks like there's an infrared window on the top. I don't know whether it can control anything else, but basically it's powered by two AAA batteries. It comes supplied with the projector. And when you are first setting up the projector, first it will ask you to pair. I can't remember what's the sequence of buttons that you're gonna be pressing, but it was a no-brainer. The whole unit came with a manual, but I never referred to the manual once. The whole setup process was actually guided through by the projector setup process very very easily now this remote is uh, pretty responsive you can control the volume there's also a focus switch okay this plus minus you can actually switch it so that you can adjust the focus like now or you can actually switch it such that you just control the volume now most of the time the autofocus works very well so i have the switch on volume and i can control the volume easily now the control of the volume will also apply to the bluetooth devices or the speakers that are connected you can control the bluetooth volume via this control as well now google assistant is built in and all the buttons the directional pad up down left right and the uh, OK button is also built in. Then you can actually even power off the device. Now, when you power off the device, you are um, able to either hibernate it or use a long press on the power button to power it off. And when the unit is in hibernate mode, you just have to press it one more time and it will wake up. And if the unit has been totally powered off, you probably need to press it twice in order to wake it up and turn it on. Now, there are some touch control buttons on top of the projector too. There's a play and pause and there's a plus and minus. Now, look at how, uh, well, maybe on the newer Sonos uh, speakers, the Sonos ones, the touch control plus minus uh, for volume control and play pause. It really, really looks like the uh, Sonos design language. Now, again, there's a mic built on because there's Google Assistant. Now, you can also Chromecast to this device. Wow, I, I haven't actually covered this whole uh, projector in a sequence that is sensible. It's just so many things to talk about and I've been having a lot of fun with this. Now, I'm just going to go try gaming on this projector and I'll see you in my next video. I'll be busy for the next couple of hours. Bye.